Hi everyone, today I want to um, show you the watercolor palette a little bit more. So this is the Lip and Cheek Handmade Watercolor by Moi. <laughs> So I, I can't tell you, it's so exciting to be able to share something that I have actually made myself and something that I have so much enjoyed. These are called velvet watercolors and so that all that means is they are not flat um, but they have a luminosity to it. So they're not a flat like a classical watercolor but they're not also... Um, uh, metallic so they have a little bit of luminosity to them very very subtle now um, so that's the the reasoning behind it and obviously the um, stamp set as well that I came out with that was sort of all of it was designed to use together um, now you can easily use this palette on other things as well so I I love using it on florals as well as the face but it's up to you what you can use it for it doesn't mean that because they're called lip and cheek they're just for uh for the face i will show you in fact these flowers so you can totally use them like that and we're done now this one is not with this so today i will show you quickly um how to use these watercolors what they are about uh, and what you can create with them because um, they are not your regular watercolor that you are used to so they're quite interesting so all right I'm going to work in my okay so what I would recommend to do is before before you do any sort of, um, um, you know, working in your art journal, you should just do some, well, a few swatches, you know, just to get to know the watercolor, just to understand what they are all about and what is it that they can do. So first of all, I'm just going to start by adding a little drop of watercolor into all of these now you don't want to have too much watercolor because depending on what you want to do do you want to have a very uh, you know um, like an opaque swatch or do you want to have something a little bit watered out so let's try and do this one so as you can see it kind of looks nice and opaque now you can leave it at that or you could really water this out and and then see what happens now you won't see that velvetness in these colors straight away you need to wait until they're completely dry and then you'll be able to be able to see something um, the reason I called them velvet is because you know how you look at velvet and it has that beautiful little um, sheen um, caused from the fiber and light reflection so that's where I was going with it so that luminosity is uh, what these watercolors have but a very subtle one nothing over the top the last thing I wanted to create is, is another crazy shimmery watercolor set I did not want that at all so here we have the um, so the first one was perfect peach second one is tropical sunset so let's go ahead and see how light we can get these watches to be so I'm going to do very very light underneath the very opaque then we're going to have a nice little gradient like so and then 
let's see if there's any granulation or how the blooming works. So the uh, tropical sunset has already a beautiful bloom going on there. Uh, now let's look at the red. So the red is going to be beautiful. Like I said before, they're packed with, look at that. They are packed with pigments. I had to come up with the recipe for the watercolors that would, you know, take in as many or as much pigments as possible without looking very dry and cracked because that's the other thing. I learned that if you don't put enough um, like gamma arabic binder into it, um, you know, it just becomes a little bit too dry, which I didn't want to, to have. Um, but the uh, point that I'm trying to make is basically had to be a perfect, perfect combination of pigment ratio to the gamma arabic ratio. All right. And let's do the pink. So I'm going to go ahead and dry it and then let's see where the beautiful velvetness is coming through. But the color color palette is just so delicious, isn't it? Okay, so let's see. Hopefully you can pick up on a beautiful sheen. So that luminosity. So here I can see luminosity in these little areas. Here is no luminosity at all because it's quite opaque, opaquely um, painted. In this swatch where the half is really opaque and the other half has a little bit more water, I can see the uh, sheen a lot better. I don't know whether you can pick up on that. And then moving on to the orange, same thing here. It's quite um, strongly packed with pigment here, so I can't see the sheen but as you water it out the sheen comes through a bit more with the pink once you add more water you definitely start seeing the luminosity so you can see it's a lot more here than it is here only a few pockets where there is less of the pigment and more of the water and then same thing with the red so you have more of the luminosity in the watered out areas. So that is to keep in mind when you're working with them, depending what you want, and that's how you can get it. So if you want a skin tone with a little bit more sheen coming through, then add a bit of water in that area and you'll uh, immediately create that luminosity so they're very flexible so if you don't like luminosity you can work with them and avoid that but if you do you can you know play around and see what you prefer okay so now today I want to have a quick demo and show you uh, how to do these obviously they're called lip and cheek so I want to show you how to create a lovely uh, little face. So I already started stamping out. So I'm using my Distress Ink in Tattered Rose uh, by Tim Holtz in a mini. I absolutely love it because I love everything mini as you can see. And then I'm just going to stamp. Okay, to save a little bit of time, because my battery started dying as well, I really do need to buy a second battery. Anyway, uh, I have gone ahead and stamped a face to show you how we're going to create a beautiful skin complexion. 
um, it's going to be a Caucasian skin complexion today. And um, also I stamped out a rose flower. So both of them from my stamp sets. I didn't want to, you know, go too much um, into detail about the stamp sets because this is about watercolor, but I did want um, to share these with you in case you're not aware of them. So anyways, um, I wanted to show you that lip and cheek palette can be used for both florals and um, and face. So let's go ahead and I'll start with the flower first because that's probably the easiest. So I really like these. Actually, I'm going to go into smaller brush because this is a quite small um, area we're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and use the silver black velvet round four. I love this brush for this type of work. It's very, very convenient. So keeping in mind that this perfect peach is a little bit on the opaque side when it is um, at its, you know, most intense, I am going to avoid going over the black um, ink pen lines because I don't want it to lose lose the detail. So now I'm just going to water out some of this watercolor and I absolutely love this peach on the roses. And then just going to you, you really need a tiny little bit because I have said this before but I will have to say it again and again that when I was designing and making these watercolors I really made sure that they're packed and packed with pigment. I didn't want to have a wishy-washy type of a craft watercolor. These are artist great because of their pigment quality and I have packed them with pigments so they're quite they were quite expensive for me to make them because obviously I had to invest into creating these products so that is the rose and look how pretty this peach is it's such a gorgeous perfect peach just like I called it uh, in my opinion, I hope you join in with that. And let's um, let's try doing something different. Let's go for the orange. Now again, you can see how very much packed it is with pigment. So you don't even need that much. I'm just going to... Because I do want to have a bit of a sheen, I am making sure that I'm not making this too opaque because remember what I said to you the more opaque you make this the less sheen you will get so I'm going to play around and lift some of this color like that okay so why not creating orange leaves with a peach little um, rose so that looks very neat and it would look very pretty on like uh, um, on her head for example so now let's look into the complexion so for the complexion I don't want it to be opaque at all so I'm going to water it out quite a lot I'm going to start right on the side of her face and now with quite a bit of water I'm just going to pull out Um, this perfect peach into the center of the face and when I'm losing pigment I'm just going to load my brush and go to the other side and do the same thing of pulling it with quite a bit of water and this is how the sheen happens now it looks like I've added a bit too much here so I'm just going to use a lot of water and then kind of create 
a bit of um, highlighting and downlighting for her face just like this and then I can build up a little bit if I want to and you can see that already we are starting to get somewhere okay so at this point I will take the orange and again be quite sparingly with it now the watercolor here is underneath her eye a little bit wet still so it's going to move and move quite a bit so I'm just going to create eyeshadow and depends where you want to deepen the color you can dab it on just again like that so even though I called it lip and cheek you can see that you can take these some of these colors right into her um, into her face like you know her eyeshadows so you can totally use them as much as you want now if I'm going to work very thickly with the scarlet red it is just the most stunning deep beautiful intense red so creamy so velvety uh, but I can if I wanted to really water it out and create a, a much softer and less less kind of vibrant color so it'd be a lot lighter but for now, I am just creating this. I'm leaving a little highlight, not too much. And look at that. The lighting now is a little bit difficult to work with because of it getting quite dark. But let's see. So I'm going to try and move some of this color that has moved onto her nose so you can see they're not staining these colors so you can work with them you can you have the time to move them out and about which i think is great and then at this point we're going to maybe just ever so slightly darken up her skin tone I'll just create a little bit more depth because at the moment it's just a little too light. So what I'm going to do is just create more shade like that and that has created more shade around the nose and you can see the red, oh where's this coming from? The red of the lipstick is now bleeding into the side and I actually quite like this sort of dramatic look. So that is as easy as it is to create a face complexion and lip and cheek look. But I will go ahead and use the fourth color just to show you that you can use all four colors. Now when you mix this... Um, pink lemonade with a perfect peach it just creates the most gorgeous cheek color very beautiful in its own as well but when it's sort of blended in it's just gorgeous so that is probably it i'm going to add this remaining pink onto her eyelid just for that extra little bit of contrast you will see that I picked these colors to work beautifully together so when you use them together they are very complementing uh, you know um, so you can see the pink and the red and the colors pop very beautifully when they're next to each other so the pink and the red and the peach next to the red and just all of it the pink next to the orange and that is 
what it is. Isn't it stunning? And then you could go ahead and do some doodling. For example, I have been completely in love with doodling polka dots lately. I just put polka dots on everything. And it's so easy and it's so effective. All of a sudden, you just create something else. There you go. There is my polka dot rose. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had a better idea now of what the watercolor looks like. Um, I don't know whether you can pick up because the colors are still a little bit damp. Now you have to wait for them to dry completely to be able to see the sheen. Um, so I don't know whether you'll be able to pick up on that but there is a tiny little bit of a sheen there ever so slightly and again wherever it's the darkest around the edges of the face there isn't anything but then going more towards the middle of the face very very light sheen so i hope you enjoyed this little demo and uh, the etsy or well, my etsy shop will be linked below so that you can go and check out these watercolors if you are interested and that is it for today thanks for watching and see you soon